can ship all these people in here, huh? <laughs> See so many media. And well, uh, thanks for coming, and uh, uh, we had a nice game tonight. It was it was exciting. Uh, Mom has a very good basketball team, and uh, I thought we uh, played well enough down the stretch to, to win the game. So I'm proud of our players as well. Our players are just better basketball players. They are um, more, more composed. They understand that uh, this, this is a game of a lot of runs, meaning, meaning one team will go on a run and then we go on a run. And uh, I thought that was a very exciting college basketball game tonight. Um, a lot of action, a lot of tough shots made by both teams, and, and a lot of great plays. And, and so um, uh, I, I was proud of our players, how they played together down the stretch, offensively and defensively. So the freshmen were in foul trouble tonight. So what was it like just to be able to lean on veterans in a game like this? Well, the foul trouble really uh, uh, made it difficult in our rotation in the first half with our size, and we thought we had an advantage over this team inside. But all our big guys started getting in foul trouble. Uh, Chemezi had three fouls in the first half. Benny Bowright had two. Uh, Darian Clark and Nicholas. So uh, it, it was challenging, uh, but uh, we were able to withstand that and then play well down the stretch. Uh, you, you know, we're worried about our own team. Uh, we, uh, we, we have a lot of games left to play. I'm, I'm proud of our guys that they've been improving, but I think um, we have 29 more regular season games, and we're going to take each one, uh, focus on New Mexico. Uh, uh, they a very good team coming in here Saturday. How much did the fact that Monmouth beat UCLA play into your preparation for this game? Or did it get everyone's attention? Did you have to did you remind them, hey, these guys beat UCLA. They're a good team. We knew we knew Monmouth was a, was a good basketball team. Uh, they uh, they were predicted to come in second in their league uh, behind Iona and have a chance to win it. I think this the team we just played tonight will win 20, 20 games this year at least. Uh, so this is a very good basketball team, uh, uh, and, and they, uh, they 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 play at such a fast pace. Uh, we like to play fast too, but I, I thought in the first half when they made their run because of our foul trouble. We got a little, a little winded, trying to keep up with them and and uh, and, and let them back in the game. But but they they actually earned it because they made some great plays and and, and really uh, ran the floor and, and got back in the game after we had that lead in the first half. So uh, yeah, but we knew Monmouth was a good team. You were kind of forced into it because of foul trouble. But what did you like about the four guards uh, playing together? Well, I just figured uh, we're going to go with our four best offensive players, our four guards, and Nicola, the five best offensive players, uh, and, and the experience down the stretch. And, and they were, they were, they, they had four forward slash guards as well. And uh, I just want our guys, we're going to win or lose with, with, with that group, and, and uh, they played great. They shared the ball together, they made the extra pass, they made big shots, and then they got some key stops down the stretch. How come on Malik Marchetti and Malik Martin didn't play tonight? Uh, they're just a coach's decision. What's the level of concern with uh, the defensive glass and allowing too many offensive rebounds? I'm sorry? Well, is, is there any level of concern with, with allowing the offensive rebounds? It, it was more of a problem in the, in the first half. Yeah, I think they only had four, four in a second. Uh, yeah, once again, I, th I thought w if we could have played our, the lineups we would have liked, uh, we, we probably could have done a better job on the boards, but... but uh, uh, they got a couple tip-ins early, which you know, give them that credit. They're they're good players, and uh, they they missed 39 shots and got 13 offensive rebounds. Two of them were team rebounds, so that's 33 percent. It's not terrible, but you know we could have done a little better job. You used 16 different rotations, 12 in the first half. How important is it to see so many different groupings together so early in the season? Well, when you're in foul trouble, you just try to survive. So, I uh, I didn't. Uh, that's a good stat. I didn't realize that, but. Um, they, uh, whoever goes in the game has to play and play hard, and, and we've had a terrific preseason. Our players are playing extremely hard in practice, uh, and, and, and they played hard tonight. How do you think that? Uh, how do you think that Julian and Jordan are playing together? You know, they're both obviously sort of point guard types, and they didn't get to play together that much last year because of Jordan's injuries. How do you think they did as far as playing together? And well, let's see. Uh, just looking at the stats, they had 41 points. 11 assists and two turnovers with three steals and 15 rebounds. I'd say that's pretty damn good. <laughs> it's only been two games, but have you liked the level of consistency you've seen from your guards so far? Uh, I'm sorry? 
the, do you like the level of consistency you've seen from your guards so far? It's only been two games, but. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, they're, they're playing really good bass. They're confident. They're, they're playing well together. They're, as I said, they're sharing the basketball. They're, they're, uh, and and it's, it's fun to watch. Uh, but, but that was a big, big concern, or not a concern, but it's a big focal point of our preseason is, is to, to, to make the extra pass and play good bas team basketball. And, and, and I think as you saw down the stretch when we made those threes, we're penetrating and kicking, penetrating kicking, and we got some open shots, and, and we're able to make them. You guys have kept the turnovers down in both your games, especially compared to last year. What's been the key line keeping that down? It's the same thing. It's a big focal point. And, and um, last year, our decision making and our skill level were not high enough uh, to, to win a lot of those close games. Um, and when you give out teams extra possessions, it's it's difficult. Uh, so so that's just another focal point of ours to try to get better as a team. Coach. Okay, thank you, Andy. Okay.